The Scube is one of the most popular side events in the WCA, and also the newest. Being added as recently as 2014, it has already seen over 10,000 people compete, and multiple manufacturers bringing out speed scubes to see faster and faster times. But what is it? And why did it take so long to be added? For those who don't know, the scube is a corner twisting cube where each cut goes through 50% of the cube. As a result, each turn affects all six sides at once, making for a rather strange solve. The scube is a deep cut puzzle, which means that each and every cut divides the puzzle into two functionally identical groups. It's hard to say exactly when the scube was invented, but the best guess seems to be between late 1981 and early 1982. What is known is that it was invented by a British journalist, Tony Durham. He showed the design to Uwe Meffert, who liked the idea, and created several prototypes to bring to the London Toy Fair. He also put it in his 1982 puzzle catalogue, under the name of Pyraminx Cube. An odd name, but considering nearly everything in the catalogue was named a Pyraminx something, it's one of the less weird examples. Douglas Hofstadter managed to get one of these catalogues, and discovered the puzzle. Writing about it in his Metamagical Themas column in July 1982, he coined the name we know today. He wrote, Each cut crosses all six faces, so that every turn affects all the faces at once. In this respect, this cube is more vicious than the cube, where on each turn, two faces are exempt from change. Despite the simplicity of this object, it is quite hard to get used to its skew twist. Of course, that is part of its charm. Despite the popularity, the cube wasn't mass-produced until the early 1990s, when a German company picked it up for a production run under the incredibly specific name of IQ Cube. By 2000, Meffitt had his own company and was producing scubes under the current name. Slowly, they grew in popularity, and by 2010, there were significant calls within the community for it to be added, and one very vocal dissident. I've really got into scube recently. For some uh, oh, nice. I hate yeah, scubes. I love scubes. <laughs> so much fun. I think I've Wait, got why do you hate scubes? Andrew, why, why do you hate scubes? <laughs> it is a cube-like object that doesn't turn like a 3x3. Three three. It makes me immediately angry. <laughs> if Sarah Palin was holding a scube and shouting her usual rhetoric and crap, I would be more mad at the scube. <laughs> Just for being there in the shot. <laughs> Gosh. Nice. Oh my... It's... Why, why doesn't it turn like a 3x3? Three three? It just gives me a headache. <laughs> Andrew Kang wasn't able to stop it, however. Official discussions started in 2013, and the evidence was clear. It was fast, easy to scramble, very common, very popular, and it brought new things to the world of cubing. On the 6th of December 2013, Sarah Strong announced that the Scube would be introduced to the WCA in 2014. The Scube has a long and fascinating history behind it. With its strange turning and interesting solve, it's a puzzle that deserves to be in the WCA, whether Andrew Kang wants it or not. It remains to be seen just how fast Speedcubers can push its limits.